This lesson is for section 11.5. We're going to be looking at determinants of matrices and Kramer's rule in order to solve systems of equations. So today's goal is to find the determinant of a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix by hand and also to use Kramer's rule to solve a system of equations in two or more variables. So let's um, review. You probably did determinants last year. Um, to find the determinant of a matrix, let's say it's a 2x2 two two matrix, there's two ways that you might see this written. You might see determinant and then the matrix with brackets around it or you'll see um, vertical lines instead of brackets but basically all you do is you take the product of the diagonals and subtract and find the difference basically so AD minus BC gives me the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix so in this first example here all I need to do to find the determinant so you'll see it written like this like I said or the determinant written like this. Um, so if you're just shown these bars here, the vertical lines, you know that it's asking for the determinant. Oops, I forgot about that. And we end up taking 6 times 3 and subtracting the product of 9 and negative 3. So we have 18 plus 27 here to give me 45. So just be careful with the order of operations. And that's really all you can probably mess up on here. Now to find a 3 by 3 determinant, um, I'm sorry, to find the, de the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, it looks a little bit more complicated. Um, here we've got all the letters written in here for you. Um, but essentially all you have to do, if you look at what this actually shows, if I look at um, the uh, A row and column and cross that out, I'm going to take A and multiply it by the determinant of the um, leftover 2x2 two two matrix. So E times I minus F times H. And then if I look at B, uh, I cross out this row and column here, I'm left with the uh, matrix D, F, G, I. So this is where you're seeing D, D, I minus F, G. And then finally you have C. If I cross out the column and the row that C appears in, I have D, E, G, H. So I'm finding D, H minus uh, E, G. Um, if you look at the pattern too, notice that you have a positive and then a negative and then a positive. Um, so if this was a 4x4, four four, let's say we had another column out here that was like, um, I don't know, S, T, U, then we would um, subtract S times, if we cross this out, this should be a 3 by th or 4x4, four four, but essentially this um, matrix left over, okay? so. Um, that's how you would do it by hand. So let's go through an example. We're only going to do one example here. Uh, I take for the determinant here. I should see this written with vertical lines instead of just the matrix notation. So anyways, that means determinant. This is going to equal 3 times. If I cross out 3, cross out this row here in this column, I'm left with the matrix inside. Let's find the determinant of 3, negative 5, negative 1, 4. And then if I look at negative 2, oops, three. now I'm going to cross off this uh, column and row. And this time, remember, you're supposed to take uh, the opposite sign. So this is minus negative 2 times the determinant of 5, negative 5, 2, and 4. And then finally, add that last, whoops, come back. Um, that last row and column here. Add one times five, three, two. Negative one is the two by two. Okay, so here we're just basically essentially doing, um, you know, three determinants with a two by two. So we have three times three times four is twelve minus negative one times negative five is a positive five, and then plus two. These are double negative here. 2 times 20 minus a negative 10. So this is going to be plus 30, or positive 30, I mean. And then plus 1 times negative 5 minus 6. So I have 3 times 7 plus 2 times 30 minus 11 to give me uh, 21 plus 60 minus 11, and that is 70. Okay, I want to verify that now with a calculator. Okay, so as you can see, I already went ahead and I um, edited my matrix here um, to the original matrix that we're finding the determinant of. So now I'm going to hit second matrix, 
and then scroll over to math. That first option here, determinant, I'm just going to hit enter on this and then call up matrix A. Hit enter and the determinant of matrix A is 70. So um, we verified that with a calculator. So um, by hand, we can also do the same thing, obviously much quicker using your calculator. Okay. So now that you know how to do it by hand and now you know how to uh, check it with your calculator. Now we're going to use Kramer's rule um, as another method for solving a system of equations. Now I'm just going to use it with a two by two system to show you kind of the proof of it, but the general idea we're, we're going to use in order to do a three by three system. So here we go. So this is a general two by two system, okay? Coefficients A, B, D, and E, um, and then constants C and F. So my coefficient matrix would be just the coefficients in front of my variables here, A, B, D, E. This is the coefficient matrix. Your constant matrix, I think we've already labeled these before in a previous um, lesson, but your constant matrix would be C, F, okay? Now, Kramer, this dude, figured out that if you wanted to solve for X, what you could do is take the determinant of the uh, coefficient matrix that's been replaced with the constant matrix. So what I mean by that is if I took my um, normal coefficient matrix, this matrix here, and I replace the X column with these constants C and F. So now I have C, F in the first row, first column, or I'm sorry, in the first column, and then B, E stays. If I take the determinant of this matrix and divide it by the determinant of my coefficient matrix, the normal A, B, D, E, I will end up with X, okay? So this is what that means right here, the determinant. Guys, stop. So this is the determinant of your matrix, your coefficient matrix when the X column has been replaced with your constants divided by your original coefficient matrix determinant, okay? Now the same thing goes for the Y. This time though, if you look at your um, coefficient matrix, the C and F have now, the constants here, have replaced the Y column. So instead of seeing, you know, B, E, we now see C and F here. So we're finding the determinant of this, which is just the, the Y column replaced with your constants. And then um, this, of course, is just the determinant, which we just practiced with the two by two, divided by the determinant of the uh, regular coefficient matrix. All right, so why does this actually work? How did Kramer figure this out? Well, if you take your linear system here, let me erase all this. And I do want you guys to uh, write this workout, okay? This is what I want you to show here. This is just an explanation so far, but now we're gonna actually prove why this works. So if I were to multiply and try to use elimination here to uh, let's say eliminate the, uh, the X term so I can find and solve for Y, I would multiply by, um, actually let's, let's solve for the, the A term first because I think we did this one first anyhow. So let's multiply the numerator here by, or the, the first line by A, and the second line here by a negative b. This way we can cancel out my y's. So I'm left with a e x plus b e y equaling um, c e. And then on the uh, bottom, negative b d x minus b e y equaling negative b f. So if I eliminate now the y's, I'm left with a e x minus b d x, which is just AE minus BD times X, right? This is some kind of constant minus another constant, um, equaling CE minus BF. So if I try to isolate X here, I divide out that whole term and I have CE minus BF over AE minus BD. So if you notice, that is exactly what we have here. This represents the determinant of your matrix when you replace the uh, uh, X column with your constants, and this is just the normal determinant of your coefficient matrix. So pretty cool. You could do the same thing and prove um, this part as well, and I think I did that on the key, so you can check that if you want to see that. But this would be the work of why why this actually works and how Kramer is such a smart dude. Okay, so let's let's do a three by three um, variable system. Okay, now our coefficient matrix. We're going to use Kramer's rule to solve this. So you've already learned a couple different methods. You know row reduced echelon form, or RREF, okay? You know um, inverse matrices, A inverse B, um, and now you know this third way, Kramer's rule. So if we take 
just the uh, coefficients in front of all of these uh, variables here, we're left with this matrix here. Okay. Now, using Kramer's rule, I know that if I want to solve for x, I would have to take the determinant of my coefficient matrix with the x column replaced with these numbers 6, 6, 8. Okay. So essentially, I'm going to find that and then just do the determinant of my original matrix. So writing all this out, I would have the determinant of 6, 6 and 8 is going to replace that first column. And then 2, 7, 4, negative 6, negative 5, negative 2. That determinant divided by your original determinant, negative 3, 2, negative 6, going across 5, 7, negative 5, 1, 4, negative 2. Okay. Okay, so I um, edited matrix A here. And now I'm going to go and uh, just call back up determinant of A again. And I end up with 172. So the determinant here is 172 over, and I can just go back into that same matrix and edit, because um, most of the entries are the same. Um, but uh, you only have to do this once, which is nice, because this matrix, the coefficient matrix doesn't change. It's only um, dx or dy that you would have to edit again. Um, and then this one should be a 1 here. Go back and do the same thing, so second entry and I get negative 86. So uh, 172 divided by negative 86 gives me x equals negative 2. Okay. Now for dy, remember, um, we just need to replace the uh, coefficients in the second column here with these constants here. So now my new matrix, I'm finding the determinant now of negative 3, 6, negative 6. 5, 6, negative 5, and 1, 8, negative 2. So in other words, the only thing that's changed now is this second column has been replaced with those constants. And then we're going to divide that by the original um, matrix, negative 3, 2, negative 6, 5, 7, negative 5, 1, 4, negative 2. Okay. And uh, again, I would just plug that right into my calculator. And I already have this value. We already know that this is going to be negative 86. It's not going to change ever. So I can just go back in, edit this column here to find the determinant of uh, this uh, particular matrix. Then for Z, do the same exact thing where you replace now the third column. So you're going to take, if I erase this here, this column and replace it with 668. So we have 3. Um, two, whoa, three, two, uh, six, five, seven, six, one, four, eight, over again my original. I don't want to write that all over again. And then you stick it in your calculator, do that all over again, you're going to get your z variable. So that's the end of the lesson. Um, I kept it pretty short. Hopefully, you had a fabulous time and come tomorrow with, to class with any questions if you are confused on any of this. Nice job.